Cut this up. Put it on repeat. We supposed to be the losers, but we win it, no. They used to laugh at us, no, we win What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect. I'm back today with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team gameplay here for you guys. I'm trying to get back to that Super Bowl, folks. So I showed you guys the first game of the season last week. Woo! Lance Briggs introducing himself to the quarterback. This is the second game of the season. Right now we're 1-0. We want to make it 2-0 and then 3-0. And look at DeVito formally introducing himself to the quarterback. Quickly we got them boys up out of there. Four and out. He went for it on fourth down. Didn't get it. My offense is on the field. And right now we just eating clock. Getting yards, running the football, ground and pound, smash mouth football. That's what we like to do out here. So Eddie Lacy is going to get his card in the lower corner, not because he's making a big play, but because this entire drive is just pretty much Eddie Lacy eating up five, six, seven yards to pop. Like Patman out here, just eat. First and ten right here, I got a guy in motion. I know that they are expecting a run here. I drop back looking for the pass. The route I wanted was taken away and then that good old fashioned warp tackle got back there and took your boy down. Right here though, the play action caught him slipping. That's T.Y. Hilton doing his dance on that. Oh, in the end zone, 7-0 Painmakers. My defense is on the field right now. And folks, I said this in the last video, but my defense has been playing phenomenal. Is that a word? I kind of jacked that all up. Y'all know what I'm saying. Phenomenal. Whatever. Y'all know. We've been playing great. How about that? Pass across the middle, looked like it was about to hit the ground, but Antonio Cromartie picks this thing up. How? I really wasn't even sure if that was an INT myself, but he didn't challenge, and I didn't say nothing about it. So my offense is back on the field. That's a beautiful pass to Cook. Cook, man, Cook, whatever. Cook in the end zone, 14-0, painmaker. Before the half. That's a beautiful thing, man. The pressure's getting back there to Peyton. However, he gets the pass off. They move the chains. And he goes no huddle. Now, I'm going to tell you what I liked about playing against this guy. I don't care what he did, even when he moved the ball, even when he got yards. It just looked dangerous. It just didn't really look like it was going to work. So, anytime I play against somebody and their plays are working but it's looking scary, I know it's only a matter of time before they make a mistake. So, I just try to hang in there and not do anything dumb. Running play right here. That's Matt Forte trying to force his way up through the middle. My defense is going to stop him, but he's going to go no huddle for third and short. I expected that. No big deal here. Now, we're less than a minute before the half, so he doesn't score. I get the ball back in the third. So I really don't care what he has going on here. But look at this. Cover two defense. You see I'm playing a little shallow. Your boy got caught slipping. I play that safety. That's my fault. That's a boneheaded move. You guys that watch my videos, you already know. I'm good for one of those a game. I'm just going to come out here and do something stupid. There it was. The good news is we got it out of the way early. I see no safety, so I'm going to audible Larry Fitzgerald's route. I'm going to give him a fade. I should have gave him a streak. Or maybe I should have just zipped the ball in. But you can see I tried to lead him toward the sideline to make sure I got him away from the coverage. Great catch, but that one probably should have gone for the distance. But since it didn't, look at Cam Newton on the keeper. Cam on the option keeper. Yeet! And he diving into the end zone. Beautiful run, beautiful score. Let's go. 21-7 pain maker. This boy ain't ready. His offense back on the field. And wow, yo. I don't know how Peyton stayed on his feet, but they need to check him for a concussion. He just got the hell knocked out of him. For real. Later in that drive, first and 10, Forte got scooped like Hagen dies. It's not working out here. My defense is not playing any games with anybody it took me a while but i'm really starting to build my defense to be the team that i want them to be you know you get a little piece here a little piece there before you know it you just you just feel confident in your squad pass across the middle probably should have been picked off it was caught however he moves the chains we got 20 seconds before the third quarter is over time in the pocket you see i'm trying to play defensive lineman i saw a comment in the last video somebody was like spade i thought you played that safety stay tuned because eventually I'm going to move back to my position. But look at Robert Quinn showing you guys why he is an elite defensive end. He didn't get the sack, but the move to get to the quarterback was beautiful. Third and 14. He's going to go to the air, throwing that across the middle. No way in hell my guys are going to let that get in there. I ain't even worried about that one. Fourth and forever. He's got to go for it. He's got time in the pocket, but he's kind of feeling some pressure that's not there. And he got cracked. And he threw the ball past the line of scrimmage. So guess who gets the ball again? 
Man, that's true. Look at this. We're trying to run the counter right here. I spell Darren Sproles in from time to time because he's such a great receiver out of the backfield. However, nothing's working for him there. Third and 10, I go play action. I'm throwing one across the middle, and that's an awful pass. Or great defense for him. I give him a compliment. Great defense for him. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but the referee tried to make the tackle for me. We'll make sure we take care of him. We're going to play him under the table, all right? 21-7 is still the score right here. Late in the fourth, time in the pocket. He throws one to the end zone. He's just hoping for a prayer, but uh, God ain't listening. Not on that one anyway. Another pass across the middle. This one works. Gets him a little bit of yak, too. And he's definitely in scoring position here. Not quite the red zone, but not far from it either. Going no huddle. No huddle monster. You see, I'm trying to use the, the middle linebacker because a lot of slant routes have been coming across the middle right here. I don't know which guy to guard. He had two slant routes, and whichever one I didn't take, that's where the pass went. So this time, I'm going back to being a defensive lineman. See if I can put some pressure on Peyton. You see him coming. He throws the pass, and he gets the pass off, almost gets the first down. Now, this next play is going to be amazing. Look at this. He goes no huddle. It's second and short. I don't know why he doesn't run, but he wants to throw a quick route, but that's Antonio Cromartie for his second INT of the day. And with Cromartie's speed on that pick, there is nobody who can catch him. So right about here, we're going to go ahead and start celebrating. Ain't nobody catching AC. That's a 28-7 game. When I put my information at the bottom, you guys have a pretty good idea what's about to happen. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I got for this one. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.